This video is sponsored by Clip Flip. You can take a look at their website at www.clipflip.com. Hey guys, today I'm doing a review of the Dry Buds and Dry Case by Dry Case LLC. Now the Dry Buds do retail for $34.99, but you can usually find it online for around $18 to $20. And the dry case does retail for $39.99, but you can usually find it for around $25 to $30. Now the dry buds do exactly what they sound like. They are waterproof earphones, um, so when you are swimming or playing in the pool, you'll be able to listen to music up to 10 feet underwater. So that's pretty impressive. And the dry case is basically your storage unit for your mobile devices, for electronic devices. And that, that has the ability to go down um, up to 100 feet underwater. So very, very um, low in depth. So that's very, very impressive. Now, I would like to review both products individually. So I'm going to start with the dry buds. And then I'm going to go to the dry case. And then I'll put the two together. Because as you'll see, um, there is an included cable to listen to your music while your uh, portable device is in the dry case. So let me put that aside for now. And let's get to the dry buds. So I will start by showing you what comes included in the dry buds case. You'll be getting a few different things. So let me just put the packaging aside. Uh, you will be getting a, a a little carrying case. The little carrying case I show you, uh, as you can see right here, it's a nice clear carrying case. And then the dry buds are inside, and then the uh, silicone ear tips are as well. So let me just pull the entire uh, thing out, the entire pair out. So here are the silicone ear tips. You will be getting two pairs in this bag and three total. It comes with the medium pre-installed, but in the bag are a small and a large pair. So here are the dry buds themselves. Now, because they are waterproof, these are able to go underwater. They are not made out of metal. They are actually made out of a kind of a plastic material. So the build quality is not very impressive in my opinion, but um, they couldn't really use metal or else, that or else that would rust and a lot of other materials wouldn't wouldn't act uh, wouldn't work well underwater. So um, that's definitely a little flaw in my opinion. But it is gold plated. It is a it does have a 3.5 millimeter gold plated uh, jack to give you the best conductivity possible. Um, working with the the mechanics inside. Now, even though they are even though it does have a 3.5 millimeter jack, does not mean that the quality is per se really really good. In my opinion, this is actually uh, quite lacking. The the sound is actually quite poor in my opinion. Uh, the bass was almost non-existent. There was almost zero bass. The lows, mids, and highs were all very muffled. And in my opinion, the sound quality was just very, very poor. Now, a lot of companies do sound do sell headphones or earphones that are waterproof. Uh, for example, the H2O Audio uh, earphones, and there's a ton of other ones as well. But um, they're all in the, around the forty, fifty, sixty dollar price range, and for these to retail on their website, on Dry on Dry Case's website, uh, for thirty four ninety nine is way overpriced, and there's a reason that they do sell for around eighteen to twenty. So if you're if you're buying this, make sure that you are going to pay under thirty dollars because the sound is quite horrible. I've heard a lot better in twenty dollar pair of headphones, so uh, the sound quality is very very poor. All right. Now let's move on to the dry case. Let's move on to the dry case and then we'll put the two together. Now the dry case comes with a lot of a lot of different accessories and this is what's going to keep you and your electronic device together so basically without you losing it while your device is technically underwater and then also you'll be able to listen to music as well. So let me just open up the package. Let's get the packaging out. I try to put it back together as well as I could. So here's just some information, uh, what comes included. So let's put that aside. Here is the dry case itself. Your uh, electronic devices go goes right in there. So let's put that right there. Here is your air pump. This is your vacuum pump. And this is what's going to be used to basically take the air that is in the dry case uh, out. So basically you're trying to make it as, um, as little air in, uh, in it as possible. And this is what's going to do it to make it very vacuum and uh, airtight, all right? So the next product, the, the next thing you'll be getting is the arm, the armband. This is your, uh, this is your um, neoprene, neoprene armband, and that's what's going to basically wrap around your arm. So when you are uh, swimming or diving, not really diving, more swimming, 
underwater, this will keep you in contact with the dry case. And the last thing besides the dry case is the is the uh, lanyard with clip. All right, this is the this is the lanyard and clip. All right, so you need to be you will be getting a lot of things. So uh, let's just take the few things that you'll be getting. So this is the dry case. This is your vacuum pump, and here is the uh, earbuds themselves, the dry buds themselves. So um, this is basically what you'll need: the essential pieces uh, for putting your electronic devices together, basically to put it in here. And then you'll use either the lanyard clip or the the neoprene strap to put, keep it with you. So what you do is you simply take the dry case and then you go opposite directions on both ends to basically uh, open it up. And so you go like that, you open it up, and you want to take out the little card that comes inside, the little business card type thing, just a little uh, information. And it does say that uh, this was personally, this was um, this was tested underwater overnight. Just make sure that no uh, that water did not get inside. So that's definitely a good thing. So let me put my iPhone 4 inside right now. What you want to do first thing is if you are using a device that does have a 3.5 millimeter jack you, uh, plug, excuse me, you do want to plug that in first thing. So just like that, you do want to plug it in. And, before, and actually, I do want to say one thing. As you can see, it does have three rings, one for the left ear, one for the right ear, and the third is for the control talk panels that are built into a lot of earphones. So that is definitely nice of dry corp or uh, dry buds to make the 3.5 millimeter plug, uh, excuse me, the 3.5 millimeter uh, jack have the ring for the control talk, even though the dry buds themselves, the product that they sell, uh, does not have a control talk. So that's just nice in my opinion. So you simply plug that in, and then you kind of push it in right there, make sure everything's nice. Then um, you simply close it up. Basically, just do the opposite of what you did to open it. Um, so, just simply uh, lock the two together. Make sure everything is locked. And you want to twist it. Hold on. All right, there's one side, and there is the other. So, that's it. This will also work with your cameras. Uh, if you do have a small video camera, this will work as well. Now, as you can see, there is a lot of air inside, and because this is closed, it is there is an air going in or out so the only way to get the air that's inside out is by using the vacuum pump that comes included the nice vacuum pump so you simply take this little uh, little um, plug or little opening open it up like that take your vacuum pump uh, push it on and then simply squeeze and as you can see the air is slowly coming out and you do want to make sure that almost all the air inside is out pretty much as much as you can get so let's see if I can kind of like push the air out myself too. So that looks pretty good. As you can kind of see, my iPhone is being kind of hugged by the material. And uh, that's about it. So almost, yeah, so about every single, uh, all the air is out. And you will be able to actually use your iPhone as well while it's inside or your touchscreen device because you can simply, you know, it's built with a material. So if you are, um, if you are checking email, Whatever you're doing, listening to music, because you do have the, the plug right there. If you are listening to music or playing apps or whatever, uh, this will allow you to do so, and it works pretty well. I like that a lot. Now, you won't be able to um, really change your volume too well. I guess you can try from there, but uh, you can do it manually on your device as well, and turning it off might be a little hard. Um, it works pretty well. All right, so here is the dry case. It is, it is installed correctly. Here are the dry buds, and you can simply uh, plug it in just like that, and there it is. You now have your waterproof earphones and your iPhone or a mobile device ready to be uh, listened to. Now, just some information about the dry buds. One little thing I forgot to mention so uh, before is that it is made with 56 inches of cord, I'm pretty sure, which is um, four and a half feet of cord, so a very, very long cord, so that's definitely impressive. Now... Uh, let me give you a test, alright, so let me put it right here, and I do have my bowl of water once again, I have the water right here, I just have the bowl right there, but here's the water, so let me fill it up as much as I possibly can, alright, so, there we go, let's just fill it up, a little more, that looks about right, uh, I might overflow a little bit, but that's okay, so let me just get the things away for a second, just in case it does um, leak, so here is 
the dry case when I put my iPhone underwater it's probably going to overflow a little bit and as you can see it is fully submerged and a little bit of water did get out but that's okay so it is fully submerged and as I said before the dry case can go up to 100 feet underwater and the dry buds can go up to uh, excuse me down to I guess you could say uh, down to 10 feet underwater and let's put the dry uh, dry buds in the water as well so that's basically it um, let me give you a little test with the music I guess uh, so let me just press the home button okay it doesn't really work underwater as well that's very typical and so let me just go there let me pick uh, a song I'll pick a non uh, um, royalty free song uh, let me see what is a royalty free song that I could pick um, trans party people by Rick, Rick by uh, Rick Van Man uh, let me see here we go alright so uh, let's get it as high in the volume as possible there we go alright so hopefully you can hear that yeah if you can't hear that it's because the the dry buds do have very very poor sound quality and I did notice that the uh, sound quality was very very lacking in the dry case in the dry buds so uh, overall my final thoughts on these products is that the dry case is very impressive it works very well but the dry buds are very very lacking so uh, I do recommend you buy the dry case but if you do want uh, waterproof earbuds or waterproof earphones uh, I would recommend you go with something like H2O Audio or something else you can find and there probably are a ton of them there are a ton of them in the market so once again dry buds $34.99 but you can usually find them from around $18 to $20 dry case retails for $39.99 but you can usually find that for around $20 uh, around $25 to $30 alright guys uh, if you would like to read my full article on these products you can do that and I'll leave the link in the description below to the article on ilovegadget77.com I would like to thank Dry, uh, Dry Case LLC for sending these products out for review today. Alright guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.